Welcome back to A Brave New World. Today I'm going to go over my pocket survival kit made from an Altoids can. Here's what it looks like. I've had these in the past. This is about my fourth or fifth one. Most of them I've given away to friends and family over the years. I recently gave one to a good friend of mine, Mungus, who was out helping around my property if you watched that video. He liked it so much, his birthday came around, I gave it to him. Um, as you can see, I've sanded the can down and I painted it with some flatter colors just to take some of the shine off. And it does have a Ranger band on it, but no means is the Ranger band required to hold it shut. So let me open it up and we'll get started. Um, I've polished the inside a little bit so you can use it for a signaling mirror and cleaned it very well to where if you had to you could use it to boil some water although that wouldn't be a great amount okay inside I have a uh, 10 ibuprofen tabs obviously headaches pains aches whatever in this is like a little fishing kit and you could probably use it for snares in this bag I have almost I would say it's like 42 feet of 50 pound test fishing line with some split weights and some uh, heavy duty swivels that are also 50 pound you could use this for obviously fishing but also you could use it for small game and I found in the past when using fishing line or not line like this for uh, snares I use the swivel that way when the animal gets snagged in there and starts flopping around and twisting it doesn't break the line or bind up the swivel, you know, you put it down where you're tying it to your stake, and I allow it to swivel, obviously. <clears throat> this is uh, 35 feet uh, of 1.5 millimeter nylon braided cord. It has about 125 pound break tensile strength. Uh, obviously, this is your cordage. Also, you can use this for snares, shelter building, lashing things together, just, you know, whatever you happen to need it for. Also in this kit, I've included, this is a top, so let me zoom in on this a little bit for you. Knife, it's a, what they call the Model 23. And actually I had bought another survival kit from Tops, which it had this knife and then like a ID card, um, a button compass, a Fresnel lens, a little... Uh, fire starter, uh, magnesium fire steel rod, and one other thing, I can't think of it now. But it was cheaper to buy that kit than to buy this knife separately. And then with the holes in here, you can use your cordage, make a handle, you can lash this to things. But this gives you a nice fixed blade, and it's fairly thick, so it gives you a little bit better option for cutting. But you should have your EDC stuff with you as well. So, with that being said, back up. This here is a peanut lighter from uh, County Com. I really like this. Not that I smoke, but it's a great fire starter. O-ring seal on here. Um, the fluid in this has been in about 40 days. And as you can see, first strike. I check it every, at least once a month and make sure it's good to go also in my kit I throw two bouillon cubes I got one beef one chicken gives you a little bit of a meal option primarily the way I use this kit is if I'm going hunting and I feel like I'm just gonna walk away from my vehicle and I'm just taking my canteen my water bottle and such um, I'll grab this, keep it in my pocket the whole time, and it gives me backup in case I get lost. Um, one other thing that's in this kit that I was just using for something else for a minute is this little Nano Streamlight. They're about $7 on Amazon. Let me uh, turn it on. As you can see, it is fairly bright. And for what it is, you can't go wrong. I leave the little clip on it so that you can hook it onto your gear if you do need to use it. <clears throat> I also got a couple band-aids in here, an alcohol prep pad, obviously you can use it for fire starting 
or first aid. This is quick and clean. You can use this to clean up. It's an antiseptic ham white. So there again, fire starting or first aid purposes. A button compass. One non-stick gauze pad, two by three. So more first aid. And then right here, secured with a small piece of tape is my ferrule rod and then inside here is a Fennel lens so another way to start fire and the last item in here is a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil that is about 12 or I'm sorry 15 by 18 inches and then I use the glass for my cupboard to get the seams nice and compacted and very flat and with this you can use it for making a bowl a pot to cook in so you can boil your water and it gives you another option carry water so there you have that and then also if need be you could always cook in here like I said wouldn't be very much but options alright please remember to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching